Following on from my news on Dongwen's swing copters that I mentioned last week, Open Name have accused him of plagiarising their game Bog Racer, and they're trying to get his app taken off the App Store. Aside from controls, there isn't really much similarity between the two, but it's best if you guys play it and make up your own minds. The big news this week is that Amazon has bought Twitch, which is pretty surprising to, for anyone that's been following along. This should actually be decent news for Twitch lovers, as Amazon has previously bought companies and then just sort of stayed out of the way. For example, Amazon owns IMDB, uh, Audible, Goodreads and Woot.com, if anyone remembers that one. The so rumours are that the Google deal may have fallen through due to antitrust or competition or monopoly laws, as in they would have owned too much of the internet's video, effectively. So we'll have to see how this pans out in future. Hopefully it's good. Amazon's generally got great customer support if they want to take an active interest and if they don't then we'll just have the Twitch we've always had. Miyamoto from Nintendo has explained how he wants to go forward with future games. He wants to move away from the passive attitude, i.e. I'm the customer, you're supposed to entertain me, and focus on the more hardcore long-term gamers. He wants the player to challenge themselves. Also, in more Nintendo related news, Zelda, Animal Crossing and F-Zero content will be coming to Mario Kart 8 soon, which is pretty awesome to be fair. It's going to be released in two parts, each DLC pack will cost you $8, or you can buy them both together for $12, so I reckon, you know, I'd go for the, you know, both together, it's a better deal. Uh, the UK prizes haven't been announced yet, which is another thing, we'll keep you updated obviously with that. Pre-orders for the DLC start tonight with the latest update, which is version 2.0. Also, if pre-purchased, people will have immediate access to the multicolored Joshis and the new Shy Guys available. A few of the new tracks that are going to be available within the new DLC are going to be from F-Zero, obviously, Excite Bike, which is a new one, Animal Crossing, and Wario Woods, which is a, an awesome level from the game on the Game Boy Advance. So hopefully I'd like to see how they, that transitions to Mario Kart. So to round that all up, there'll be three new characters, four new vehicles, four extra tracks on top of the ones that I've already mentioned. Hopefully for, you know, $12, which I reckon is going to be about £10. Don't hold me to that. Hopefully it will be. You're getting quite a good deal from the looks of things, so I'll be grabbing it anyway. You should probably check it out too. To all my fellow convention goers, the San Diego Comic Con, which has been going since 1991, could actually be moving to Los Angeles. This is because the San Diego City Council has failed to appeal the court's ruling on expanding the convention centre where it's held. So this could mean a lot of travelling for the regulars that go. It's quite out of the way from where you'd normally go. So will it stay in San Diego or will it move to LA? We just don't know at the moment, so if you do live in San Diego then fingers crossed. Also, do you guys reckon in this day and age that no secrets are safe? In the video game industry and well, any industry really like movies etc uh, the whole smash brothers roster leak over the weekend sort of proved this for me and i reckon it's a real shame in all honesty email in and let us know what you feel about this in recent halo news the lookout map much to the fans delight has been confirmed for the halo 2 anniversary edition so that's pretty awesome so hopefully you guys all enjoy it